Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we are back in Moonshine Inc. with our little journey from Home Brewer to uh, Master Home Brewer. And uh, we are continuing our efforts right there, loading the game 136 days in. This is not a speed run, it is a very capitalistic run. <laughs> 200k in the bank and that is just the beginning. Now, what we are planning on doing today is um, to advance to the next place, which is the swamp. And, um, well, my little zombies here are doing their work diligently, of course. Um, let's take a look at what we are currently working on. Applejack almost finished, and that completes another triple batch. And there we go, Applejack done. Now, uh, I don't think Mark is currently doing anything specific, and that's our race driver, and uh, our leveled up race driver even. Oh, George, currently cleaning. We are going to choose the specialization to also be production. And I'm glad to see that our salaries have all normalized to the appropriate amount, <laughs> considering that two of them were zero for the longest time. Uh, the level up has fixed them up though. That is good news and uh, now uh, we have to do some deliveries. People are waiting for another hit. Um, <clears throat> so uh, what we are going to deliver to is definitely not the forest camp. As that is now forever going to be sitting at uh, high and almost doomed. So uh, that is done. Not going to deliver any moonshine there anymore. And now, we still can do these two hotspots twice. Uh, as in, no, not twice. Um, one and a half times. We are at alert level four. At eight, they reset and give us a point for the police. Uh, that means we can uh, get them both take over, give us a point, and then they are reset and we can start anew. So that's great. Uh, now that means that we do want to do some deliveries though. And Steven here, no, Mark, is going to have to do some driving. What are we going to take? Some Applejack. Ah yes, and we did make some Kirsch as well. That should sell pretty nicely. 130 liters going to Old Deer Stand and, uh, well, set the destination first and start the delivery. In the meantime, just doing some repairs, uh, cleaning things up, and then starting a new set of batches. Oh, uh, let's check it out. 130. Oh, the Applejack is not being received all that well. It is almost back to uh, an acceptable rating, but not quite. Still selling over a liter per hour. And we're going to drive some stuff to the treehouse as well. Silverwitz, Kirsch and Applejack. Let's see if they do remember it more fondly than the others. Also 130 liters there and everything is in perfect shape. So those things are going to just disappear. Oh yes, very nice. Okay, um, also it's going to go pretty quickly for the alert level to rise now. But we are going to get uh, increased wariness recovery rate by 15% very soon for the next uh, alert level ticking up. And everything is nicely repaired. So why not start a few more? And what I'm going to do is basically just go into the archive and see what's available. Something snappy, a cheap one. Do we have, do we have more in our inventory? I have to check. Oh, was that one that we have sold out? Indeed, we have sold that one out, so it's not as bad as our banana juice that we have sitting over here. And then the rest seems to be all occupied. Firewater, Cavados, Orivi. Yeah, let's let's see if. Uh, oh, okay, missing. Um, Missing some of the more important parts. Nope, 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 nope. That's not going to work out. If we buy 20 kilos more plums, then we should be able to at least do another round of Sliverwitz. Uh, when did we do the last one? That's a while back. 
Yep, there, that one can be recreated now. That's looking very nice. Uh, everything is available. Just press that button. Should be good. And now we can manually make another batch right there because it's going to be a little harder to fetch something decent. Um, let's first check out, though, which kind of batch we want to make by going into the archive and see what we have done recently. Um, I think this one... Calvados, 180 liters, uh, requires apples and they are being watched. Uh, I think ODV uh, would be very nice. So let's try to make that one. Go to the brandies and then <laughs> what the fruit. Yeah, I would love to make that one. That would give us so much money. Um, but mm, not, not quite compatible. So, all of it, there. Oh, that one was making super much money there. Yeah, 200 buckaroos. Wow. Okay, this is crazy. Uh, but it also requires lots of strawberry. Oh, that's going to be a little problematic and expensive. And we're going to choose that recipe. Pear and strawberry and grapes. Yeah, and getting a little bit of a better match there, even if we... If we are over shooting a little on the accurate side and just go for these two components, yep. Uh, wild yeast. Let's go for it. Let's see. Uh, that will require lots of pear, but only quite a few strawberries, so it's not that expensive. And John is going to set up that fermentation. Let's see how much we can make. Oh, not going to um, fill that up. We do need pears. They are in short supply, it looks like. And are they being watched? No, they are not. Okay, let's um, buy like 200 kilos or something. All right, a thousand buckaroos. That's fine. And batch and set up and mash all the mash. Yeah, 420 kilos. And now we... Oh, we do need more. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, that's that's a lot. Sorry, we forgot some <laughs> some pears. Didn't you just buy 200 kilos? Ah, sorry. Yes. Need, need a few more. So all the mash amount and... Do we still not buy enough? It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, sweet and salty? Which one are we going for? Don't want the salty one. Don't really want the bitter one either. Hmm. Just a note of bitter wouldn't be too bad. You can always cut it off like there for this one and that would take a lot of sugar so more pears we sorry we forgot some pears again no not more pears <laughs> oh let's buy a hundred there there you go it will be fine now hopefully um yeah set up fermentation yes yes i i had to go to the shop again all right mash is this going to be enough are you kidding me? No, now it's the strawberries. Welcome Hello, it's me again. <laughs> Let's buy a few strawberries. I forgot some strawberries, sorry. And some pears. <laughs> Let's buy it. Well, this is the most incompetent brewer company ever. How much do we need? Why, well, I'll just, just go buy 100 kilos or something. We'll be fine. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, sorry, I would this is getting better and better. No, sorry. <laughs> I forgot where I was. I just went into your shop again. Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> uh, I wanted to return to here. No, to my batch creator. Fermentation. Right now. Yes, finally. 552. And we don't even have the correct amount of sugar for this one. What is this? This is crazy beans. Can we just... Reduce the water to nothing and up the mash to even more. Yeah, 21% sugar there. Uh, but you see, with this one, we're not we're not going to sacrifice much here in terms of ethanol content or anything. Um, it's 13%, it's 12%. And here for the wild power one, we are only gaining a taste that we already have significant amounts of. And a little bit of bitters, which we might be able to pull out. Um, versus 
this one, where we could go to 12%, uh, but we do need to get a little lucky to remove the salty. Hmm. Well, this is tricky. So 12% there would be possible, and here it's just pure. Uh, also 12%. So which one are we going for? Can we remove the bitter, is the question. Yeah, I think I'm going with the wild power and just see if we can make it happen. That is... That requires us to remove a bitter. Wherever it might might appear. Alright. Solid. One, one liter of water. <laughs> that makes the difference. All the difference. Alright, uh, we're going to create that one. That would be nice. Yeah, we are selling most of it pretty rapidly. Look, the Kirsch is almost gone. And now it's just 15 liters of this remaining. And we're selling... F oh, we're selling a lot of liters per hour there. Let's take check out the treehouse as well. Um, yeah, they are not happy. But also they are sold out and we are filthy rich. 30, 30k extra. That's nice. What are our batches doing? Fermentation ongoing still? Yep, okay. It's set up. They, they're working on it. The bacteria... The, no. <laughs> the fungus is working on it. You know what? We could try the uh, Kokoroko um, at the uh, northern place, where they do like fine, whatever it is. Maybe they are going for this one as well. And then we can try some um, brandies there too, some... Some of the other ones that we have lying around. All right, some or some banana juice, and uh, we're going for orange count as well as Kokoroko, and set the destination to there and see if that works. Race car driver Mark is on the job, and let's see the numbers. Yeah, still a liter per hour. That's not too bad. Something snappy already done. That was a quick one was very quick distillation as well. And another weird delivery to the same place. Orange count, something snappy, our new stuff that we just made. And Moonshine 101. I never really set the price for this one because it was made from the archive, so I assume it is the correct price. Um, let's go. Let's see if that also sells. I can open it up here and have a look. Storage there, yeah. Uh, something snappy is still wariness is pretty high. And there we have Slivovitz is done. Olivier needs some setup. Let's see what we can do here. Um, first off, let's take off some flame rate. We do have... Wow, that is, that is such a high ethanol content. Um, would like to take out this one. And then this one, right? That is looking like a pretty good match. All right, yeah, I like it. So there we go, that's 130 liters at 57. We need 45. So just some extra water will be doing just fine. And we deliver just a small quantity to here. Oh, something snappy doesn't. They, they have not too fond memories of it, it seems like. And now we have made another 50k since the start of the episode, that is. Uh, that is looking very solid. How is the batch looking? Set up bottling. Olivi, here we go. Some more water and we should be fine. There you have it. And of course, get it to best bang for your buck, but as high as we can get it. There we have it. Twen almost 28k in terms of profit. And plus 13 mastery points. This is a much better one than previously. Let's bottle it. Let's hope they have uh, recovered from the last batch of Audivy and can take some more. We are going to set the destination to there and start the delivery. It is the correct stuff we're delivering at least. Applejack they have not recovered yet, but it is still acceptable. And Audivy is going really well. And even the Applejack is flying off the shelves. 5.5 liters per hour. Uh, I need to deliver some more. <laughs> and how about they get some uh, of this juice as well? Yeah, just 15 liters. Don't want to poison them too bad. Start the delivery. Here you go. Eh, almost sold out. 
Now, now you can continue buying like crazies. Oh, this is now ticked over to mm, getting close to confiscating the stuff that is there. Got to watch out for that. All right, let's um, just put some more stuff over there as well. I mean, we can always sell it two places. And how do they like it? Oh, beautiful. Yes. Okay, let's do another set of batches from the archive. Uh, so, start with that one. Kokoroko, as we can sell that in various places. And it's a very decent amount that we are making for good profit. Now, uh, no, not not that. Uh, we did want to make another one from the archive. Let's see what we need for... Hmm, which one do we want to make? We don't know that many... Oh, firewater we could try to recreate. Uh, what do we need? Ah, oh, come on. It's not available. Ah, okay. Well, cherry... Oh, no, we need more cherries. <laughs> it requires 207 kilos, so another 100 kilos will do the trick. I hope they're not being watched at the moment. Uh, cherries are not, no. So, um, let's grab those. Will do. Orange, grapes, cherry. Right, we have everything that we need. And just making sure that we get about the right profile here. Uh, something like that is looking about correct. Almost. Not quite. That is looking like a nice one. Uh, <laughs> let's fill it up with mash and then water. Oh, yeah, we can get lots of sugar content there. There you go. Perfect. Uh, do we want to have this last little bit, uh, blip of acrid? I don't think we do. Don't want to remove that many jars. 15%. Yeah, let's keep it there. I think that should be pretty solid. Yeah, create it. And this, indeed, will be the last set of batches. Old Deer Stand needs to be reset by the police. So how about we make a delivery that is just not going to sell well? What better candidate do we have than this one? <laughs> Let's sell as much as we can and then um, have the cops drink the rest of our banana juice. Oh, it's selling really quickly, though. I don't think the cops are going to get to it. Holy shit, yeah. Didn't expect that. And this quick delivery to the treehouse with Shiny and Varagi. <laughs> Just dumping all our stuff now. It's, we, we are almost there. We are almost there. Now just increase to six. As soon as they saw us coming with that cheap nasty shit, they were like, no, nope. no, nope. call the cops. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay, we have tried before, it looks like. And we have hit 300,000. So now let's just get this over with and uh, finish off these two batches. And then we are out of here. Set up distillation for our... Uh, uh, what, what was this? Firewater, yes. All right. That is looking like we will have some issues grabbing the acrid but um let's see if that oh there might be some chances here like this oh, that was a little too much acrid being removed mm, would need some cleaner cuts from there uh that one and one bitter oh yeah that's looking really nice um, we don't have anything with a slight amount of sweetness in it, so I think this is the best we can do. Firewater, 97. And 30% ethanol content needs 40. That's fine. Uh, we can create this. Steven, go ahead. Oh, yeah, we should also check. Oh, Mark has a level up. Promote him. Uh, yes, delivery. Oh, he got a new jacket too. I mean, look at him. Looks like a total pro now. Alright, set up the bottling. Fire water it is. And we did need some more ethanol. That's a lot of spirits added. Um, do we even have that many? Uh, 60 liters we have available. So there. There we go. Gets us another 6 mastery points as well. Uh, 13, 10. That's a lot of mastery points. Will allow us to unlock basically everything there. 
Uh, let's bottle this one. We can... We want to sell it, like, really quickly, so... Wow, this is expensive. Um, let's bottle it. And archive. And now, Mark, as quickly as you can, please, get rid of this stuff. We are soon off. Just delivering some fire water, Kokoroko, and something snappy to Old Deer Stand. They are very, very close to ticking over, so it's most likely wasted, most of it. 145 liters, yeah, yeah. High, very high, and then uh, that's something snappy won't sell much, but the fire water is on fire sale. And there we go, some to the tree house as well. Poor people on Varagi. This one ticked over. And I think they are, oh yeah, very soon confiscation is on, upon us. But now we are selling out most of it. Yeah, they're looking good. And down here, oh, there, level eight. Oh, it can go to level eight. And it's not confiscated yet. All right, well, that's, that's good to know. So we can <laughs> throw them some more. 600 customers over there. Over there in the treehouse, that's, that's a lot. And we're just selling out, as you see, loads and loads of money. This will be a very nice setup for our new base. Almost getting rid of everything, too. Not too bad. Alright, now, <laughs> they, get, they get 124 liters of our banana juice. <laughs> they are going to be delighted. Ah, well, not, not quite, but um, the police is going to be delighted to find uh, the banana juice. Okay, I think it's time. 350k, that's more than I anticipated. And uh, we have basically cleaned out our store. Yes, so it's just they, them sitting on Varagi and the police going to confiscate it. Uh, because this is not going to go well. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, what we are going to do now is just casually saving the game in case something breaks. And um, just overwriting it there, yes. And now... It is time to make the big move. There we go, reeking swamps. They reek of bananas. <laughs> Let's go to the next zone. Yes, indeed. Uh, leaving it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We have we have the cash. And there we go. Achievement unlocked. Not so secret, agent man. Uh, okay. So this is our beautiful swamp camp. Looks like. Hmm, where are the places? Sell 900 liters of alcohol. Okay, well, that's that's our start. What is this? Ah, uh, this is where we ha store our stuff. Um, let me have a look around. So I need to see where our our stuff is. Uh, over there we have a hut. Ah, okay, okay. There's the workshop over there, and. Then we have our parking lot here. Yeah, no car present. And then we have, that's our HR department. Let's uh, have a closer look. Yep, that, that looks about right. Yep, perfect. Uh, and where is, do we need anything else? Maybe not. All right, uh, I guess we can, we can start building some, some stuff then. Are they going to just take swamp water? That doesn't seem to be all that smart, if you ask me. But uh, st taking standing water, probably not a good idea. Unless it's a really big lake that is fed by very clear water. Um, but yes, so... Mm, we have to... Oh, we have to first unlock the workshop. No, first we go and check out our technology. Because all of a sudden, we can unlock turbo yeast. We definitely do want to have the turbo yeast. Uh, yes, I am sure. I do want that. Uh, we can't unlock any... Oh, that's good news, actually. Because that will allow us to do all kinds of other things. Uh, focus on other things, like... This stuff. Oh, no, aging is still not... What? Filtration. Ah, filtration. Yes. We can get automatic filter. Hmm, okay. Filtering much easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, we can get the filtration. We can get uh, all the new big items. That is, that is going to be fun. 
And then the only thing that is left that we can take is actually the temperature control. And uh, thus we have plenty left over. Well, that's, that's really nice. That means we can just, uh, with our slight amount of cash in the bank, set up a really nice shop here and then uh, get into production really soon. But first we need to find some... Well, I'm very happy that... Wow, Remington, he, he is... He's like... He has some caliber. <laughs> Big caliber worker. Party animal, slow learner, lazy. <laughs> yes. We're going to hire uh, Dawson and George. Both of them are perfectly fine. Of course, we're going to sign them at 69% uh, chance. Send the offer. That is very good. And then we have him right there. Send the offer. And of course, that is good. It's nice. So, uh, two workers. Now, workshop. We do need to upgrade the workshop. Level two. Yes, please. And now we start crafting stuff. Um, because, well, what, what more can we do? We do have... Oh, advanced grain set. Uh, the, uh, yeah, let's take a look at the big machinery, right? Post distillation we have access to now. Basic filter. Well, that looks highly advanced. Uh, so that one is a little better. That's a free star. All right. But distillation. Um, okay, we have access to various two-star units right now. And and even a three star, but heating system wood. Yeah, that's not great, is it? What did, does it look like in the fermentation? And how hot is it here? It is twenty two degrees. Yeah, probably. Yeah, this is at nine a.m. Hmm, we might be running into some hotter temperatures here, maybe. So maybe we need a big tank with cooling. But first, let's take a look at the map. So we do have Boathouse there. There's the base. There's a trailer park. They like moonshine and fine. That's fair enough. And they do like brandy premium. Ooh. Ooh. A quiet taste. And then we have up here brandy fine. Right. Okay, that, that's all good. Oh wow, the big metal tank is massive. 800 liters capacity. Yeah, we don't really need that. And we do have the big tank with heating and a big tank with cooling. I never checked out how expensive they are. So, uh, bigger buff. <laughs> how many liters? That's... Oh. Okay, that's also just 200 liters. 200 liters. 200 liters. 400 liters. Okay, so that's the one that we want to take there. Shotgun twins with gas. 400 liters. That is looking good. Oh, and reflux rate. Um, there was, of course, someone in the comments who uh, described what reflux is in uh, some detail. And that is... Um, if I understand it right, when there is a distillate that is um, that is condensing within the the main tank and falling down again, and then interacting in a way with the gases that are still um, evaporating and trying to get out of there, and it's in overall a positive effect of it. Don't know exactly what it does to to taste or to ethanol content, but. Um, it seems to be something that is done deliberately as well. So, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. We are going to grab the shotgun twins, I guess. The, these stats are looking good. Ooh, the couple, uh, submarine is pretty amazing. Does have the reflux rate of 13. But it's only wood-fired. I'm a little hesitant to build those. Um, here we have another one. That is pretty decent. Reflux rate 9. Big above uh, 7 and... Oof. But only 200 liters. So small. We need to have all the big stuff. Uh, also stats. Stats wise. 
These are on the smaller side. These, this one as well. Conclave is up there, 300, 280, 80, and is 400 liters. Reflux rate, 8%. And this one had the 13, and it's 17K. It's not that expensive. Um, shotgun twins, 16K. Good stats. Only reflux rate of 5, though. My choice here will be based on having gas, because gas really gives you that uh, control over the flame rate, and that has really helped uh, with creating some high-quality stuff. And also, well, these durability and cleanliness stats. This one is a little lower, but it does have a significantly higher rating for the device, so the quality of the stuff that you produce will naturally be higher. And this one is gas powered, has high stats. This is looking good. So I think I'm going to go with the two, oh, well, several of these conclaves and just create them. Two of them. We have two uh, slots there. Oh man, this is going to. Uh, no, it's, it's fine. Now we have pie money. Um, but oh, I guess. Uh, this will take a while. 96 hours. Yep. This is when you want there to exist a crafting queue. And then fill it up and go and take a dump in real life. So, um, um, not going to happen here. So, they should be done at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. <laughs> it's taking a while. He has been employed for three days and only been in the swamp. Uh, crafting some kind of uh, weird distillery. Looks uh, like a proper job. Also 24-7. Ah, oh, there we go. Finally done. Um, available. Yes. Now we want to take a quick look at where we can place them. Where we have space. Seems to be a lot of space here. Yeah, lots of it. Even over here. Is that the water where they're going to... Ah, uh, yes. Alright, should we all try to just cram it in here? Maybe there. Put one there. Put one on this side. Now, back to work. And that just gave them 182 experience. Alright, well. Um, can we recruit more? Yes, we can. Should we try to grab... Steven? He can't craft anything at the moment. Oh, how can we... How much does it cost to... Hmm, 12k? And three people could craft. Let's first craft two electric presses. We're going to need them. I guess we do need an oil cauldron as well for... Um, some of that... Moonshine making. Well, so that's something that we are going to do here, right? Um, I guess. And what's next? Maybe fermentation tanks. No, what, what is the temperature range that we're seeing here? 19 degrees. Yeah, okay, that's a little cooler. Uh, I think we're going to go for um, some with a heater first. That leaves only one thing left to do, and that is uh, a filter setup. Now uh, let's build two of these. All right, that is our little setup for now. And then we could pretty soon add a third and a fourth if we wanted to, because that has not cost us all too much. It's pretty simple. We could also go for one that is like of the highest quality, just for the for getting that moonshine just right. <laughs> 100%. Uh, because we do have a um, uh, the potential of using the big tank like the big metal tank, which has a three star. We also do have the, um, let me show you, um, of course, the in the distillation, uh, the three star apparatus, that is the copper submarine. And that is 400 liters as well, and has great stats, but is not very controllable. But if you use just the right equipment, then that doesn't matter, does it? Oh, also, we need to go to the store. And I forgot about something. Going to the store. Damn. Like, how are you supposed to to do this now? 
Oh no, you have to go there first thing so that they are not on watch yet. Just buy one ton of apples. It's like par for the course, right? Okay, our shopping cart is now 42k. It's a little much, maybe. Uh, takes a while to carry all of this out. I think we're good. But like 200 uh, kilograms of each of the sugars and various amounts of fruit. But up to a thousand kilos. Um, so that, that seems reasonable. The only problem is, well, we can't make anything with this one being on watch. So let's wait a little bit longer, craft something more. And if we want to go for a fancy setup, then we should craft one of the big metal tanks. And uh, by the way, anything that is going beyond the capacity that the other equipment has is just wasted. There is no warning for it or anything. Um, that seems to be a, a little significant to mention. But yes, so we got to watch out there and uh, let him create that, yes. So we're going for one copper submarine. Uh, he's going to craft that one. And post distillation. Uh, we might want to have another um, heated tank, but also another filter, yes. And there we have made everything that we needed. Copper submarine is done. Let's take a look. This is our base. And place it over there. Big metal tank, another big tank with healing. <laughs> healing! Uh, you put uh, healing potions in there and mana potions go right there. Um, and then, uh, yeah, the big, big metal tank right there. I think this is a pretty neat setup. I don't think we need cooling. And it's Sunday. I don't know when the shop resets its uh, kind of watch list. But I do know that uh, the recruitment is resetting in two hours. So, there we go, and boop, there. It's likely that the shop also... Oh, holy. Okay, we do need one more. <laughs> we do, do need one more. So, let's grab him. 69, send the offer. That's a check. Nice. So, now, let's drive to the shop on the Monday night and uh, buy some stuff. Yeah, the watch list has changed. But that is good news. So, let's... Uh, fill up the stuff that we did not get last time and fortunately I can see it like this um, so no no not more than 200 kilos thank ah oh, yes Whew. and we can get some strawberries as well how about 500 kilos and how about a thousand kilograms in gas reasonable and that's just another 15k. I don't think we're ever going to use the 1,000 kilograms, but so what? Maybe I should reduce this uh, a little bit, like to half. All right, 10k. Oh, we have plenty of money. Uh, it's good. Now, our base is all set up. All your base are belong to us. And uh, it's the highest quality of equipment, too. Not the highest quality of people, mind you. But that is uh, going to change over time. And I think this is an excellent place to wrap it up and uh, look forward to what is coming next. Some excellence in crafting. Hope you enjoyed. See you guys next time.